everybody, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Cupid. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Marla Martinson. And I've got Sherry Nichols here today. Hey, Sherry! Hey! Hi! Hey, everybody. Okay, well, Sherry, over 10 years ago, she discovered that her husband was cheating on her. Yeah! And it's not an exaggeration to say that she was devastated and it turned her whole life upside down. So, you know, here you were, Sherry, a successful businesswoman. You were making an impressive income. You were the breadwinner. You guys were going to buy a house. And then this happened. But out of the ashes rises the phoenix. <laughs> so tell us how you developed yourself and you did, you have a sparkle system now and you coach other women and, you know, everything's like turned around and you're speaking and you've got products and you coach women how to deal with things like this and, and start their own business and shine and sparkle. Yeah. Sparkle. <laughs> Sparkle. This is really what it's about. Can Ooh, you see this? Bling, bling. Beautiful diamond. I love it. <laughs> yeah, Marla, it's so great to be with you. And uh, thank you for having me. Yes. I love I love your intro. Thank you. thank you. So, yeah, you know, I think that what happened uh, with me happens to a lot of women, um, whether it's through a relationship or through work or through being a mom. But you know, I just found myself in a situation where um, my life just totally was not turning out the way I thought it was going to be. And so what happened for me when my marriage fell apart was that I just really, you know, it was, it was shocking and it was really devastating, but it, it allowed me to look at myself and to realize, wow, you know, I've really lost myself and how did this happen and how do I get me back, you know? And uh, so one of the things that, um, I did immediately was I just figured out, okay, you know, I need to really figure out, uh, a, like a plan, you know, to get me to the other side of where I used to be again. And that's what inspired my book basically was the system that I took to get myself back on track again. And, um, you know, I don't know if you've ever been in a situation, Marla, whether it's been in a romantic relationship or in general, where you've just felt disappointed mm -hmm. with your life and stuck and oh, yeah. wondering, how the heck do I get out of this? Yeah, I of course I have. I've had divorce before and, uh, you know, lost a job. But I always found in the end something better was around the corner and it was always a blessing. But it's hard to see it when you're in the middle of it. Absolutely. Was... Absolutely. And so, you know, for me, it was an incredible journey to rediscover me. And that was that was the beauty out of it. And that's what I like to really teach about and coach about is everything happens for a reason. And it's always for your best and highest good, no matter what you just said, you know, what, however you're interpreting it at the time, of course, it's difficult in that moment because it's change, you know, right. and it's yeah, we it don't can like be difficult change. to change. We like yeah. It. We think we do, but if it's good, you know, oh yeah, win the lottery, that's fine. You know, that's change, but change in other relationships and stuff, it's hard. Yeah. But usually it's because I find what happened for me and then I found it when I was doing uh, work with, with other women and just looking around before I even started becoming a coach was that women just forget who they are. They they are so, you know, we are so competent and capable, right, women in general. Oh, yeah. And we take care of so many things that we often just put ourselves on the back burner. We forget our value. We forget, mm -hmm. you know, basically that that we put ourselves last. And when we put ourselves last, we're really teaching people how to treat us. Mm -hmm. And so my sparkle system is basically about this. I held this up before, but it's what I, I don't know if you can see that yeah, big, beautiful it. diamond, Ooh. ladies. Yes. <laughs> That's who you are. You know, at your core, you are this amazing, brilliant, beautiful, multifaceted, strong, and valuable jewel. Yes. You well, really I like are. that word multifaceted because we don't have to pigeonhole ourselves into one thing. We can explore different careers, different um, talents, different interests. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I don't know if you know this, Marla, but a diamond is God's stone. Mm. So it's really a connection. You know, I'm wearing real diamond earrings. They are Ooh, a high, vibration, high vibrational. They're not so real, but they're still sparkling. These, are, these <laughs> ones are real. 
I love yours. Those my, are beautiful. They're my gift, and um, I treasure them. Yeah, but they're a high vibrational, oh. high vibrational stone. It it connects you with the truth of who you are. You know, you think think about it. It's God's stone, and think about it too. Every diamond is different, mm -hmm. but it's unique and it has the same properties, and and that's that's who we are. But what happens is we get overloaded with, you know beliefs that don't serve us that like I say it kind of puts the sludge on the diamond and we kind of forget so so the sparkle system is all about helping you get rid of that sludge finding your joy again finding your value really being able to own your value and to feel as valuable as this diamond really so do you work a lot with women over 50 is this a I do yeah because well, you know there's so many women uh, 40 plus 50 plus who maybe had had a long career and then they want to leave it or they have to leave it they were downsized or for whatever reason and they still they're you know even if they're 60 or coming on 70 they feel ha like they have a lot of energy left a lot to give but they don't know what to do and so I think your coaching would probably be great for that to give a woman to say yes I still have a lot of value and get her creative juices flowing to start something new right yeah and also you bring a good point because a lot of women in their 50s they're starting the second chapter of their life mm -hmm. yes and maybe they're empty nesting or maybe they don't have you know um, the career that they love like you're saying and you still have so much life in you you know I mean and this is your greatest actually your greatest act I should say you know I, I tell women it's like you're the leading lady of your life you know get yeah. out there and live yeah. as though you know this is your last day on earth because mm -hmm. you're in a place you've got the wisdom you you know had so much experience in your life. You you've you know got so much um, compassion and and especially you know at this point in your life you've learned so much. It's time to really tap into your talents and to uh, to really shine and to to give those gifts out to the world and that's where you're going to be the happiest with it. Yeah, so, and I know yes. some women are nervous about it. They're like, well, maybe I'm not that great with technology or I don't know how to do a business. And I had had been an employee all my life and uh, started my own business. I think I was in my late 40s, so maybe six, five, six years ago. And I, I had never dreamed I would own my own business one day. I didn't go to, I don't have a college degree. I took classes, you know, in private schools like for language or dance or something but I didn't have any business training I flunked math I you know thought this is the last thing I but when I got thrown into it when I lost my job uh, well I left my job actually but it was in 2009 in the middle of a recession my husband was furious because how could you leave a good paying job in Beverly Hills with health insurance and and I had hardly any money in the bank and I was like I don't know, but my, a friend of mine who is a practitioner, uh, a spiritual practitioner, she said, you know, the, the universe had to pry you out of that situation so that you could fly and go farther. And I did end up with all the knowledge I knew from working for somebody else. I took it and did it for myself, immediately cut down my working hours and made more money immediately. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, but I was absolutely. afraid. My heart was pounding. What if yeah. somebody complains? I can't send them to the boss. What if they want their money back? Oh, what am I going to do? But I said, well, you'll just deal with it. Take it one step at a time. And I did. And I got an LLC and I found out how to do it. And things you just do it baby steps. And there's people like it's, you to, if they need their hand held, they, you can do that and, and take them right through it. Absolutely, and it also has to do with your image of yourself, mm -hmm. right? I yes. mean, there's the, the, the really the beauty of what I do with people as well is that I, I share with them how they can create a self image that matches what they would love to do. Because part of what you're saying, like those fears that start mm -hmm. coming up, like, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> can I really afford to do this? I've got something so safe over here. But the truth is, it's all in your imagination and how you create your self image. You know, Maxwell Maltz, who wrote um, The Magic of um, Self Image Psychology. And cyber Cybonet. Cy yeah, cyber yes, he wrote that, Cyber Cybernet. Yeah, yeah, I read that in the 80s, yeah. Yes, and now he has this great book. Well, it's not new, The, the Magic Power of Self Image Psychology. He does, he's he still out there writing books. Never book? outperform your self image. That's, that, yeah. This is a new book by Maxwell Maltz? Well, I don't or know how maybe, it is, but, it, but it's, okay. it talks about that you will never outperform your self-image. And so I help a lot of people with creating the right mindset to step into the vision that they would love to have for themselves. Because not only are you doing yourself a disservice when you hold back, 
-hmm. you're really doing a disservice to all the people that you're going to serve with your beautiful gifts and talents. Yeah. Exactly, because we it is all about self-esteem. A lot of times we think, well, I'm older or I'm I maybe I need to lose a few pounds first or I need some training right. first or I need Yeah, it's good to take care of ourselves and get training, but I say take some baby steps towards it. Don't put it off because we can always say we have to do something else, right? Before Absolutely. And that goes for love, too. You know, if you feel like well, you know, it hasn't really worked out for me. Let go of the past. Yeah. Create this new, you know, diamond self-image yes. and really allow yourself to step into it. It just requires that you get new thoughts and new behaviors and that will put you in a different level of thinking. It's really all about rearranging the way you're thinking and step into doing what you would love to do. You know, we only get this one go around you don't want to waste it. There's nothing worse than I just, it hurts my heart to think of people in, in going to a job they hate every day and just waiting for Friday. I hate, I, it's, it's sad to see TGIF, thank God it's Friday. Every day should be Friday. You know, I mean, it's like every day should be excited to, to get to it, get to your work, get to what you want to do. So, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I switched my career when I was 48 as well. I wrote my book when I was 50. You know, I mean, you have to have that just belief in yourself and that knowing. And it's so possible, ladies. It is so possible. Whoever is, you know, the, you know, wherever you're at in your life, just know that, you know, if you have a burning desire to do something and be something else, that just step into it and have that faith that it's going to happen for you. And, and reach out if you need support with it. If you need, you know, a structure of support with it, reach out and get that help. Absolutely. So I'm going to put your put your all your links below. And if anybody wants to work with Sherry, she's here for you. And thank you so much for stopping by and sharing your, oh, your sparkle. Thank you.